Shiba Inu, price prediction. Got to be something you're interested in, right? You're watching this video because you like SHIB. My channel was actually built off of Shiba Inu just to give you some perspective. Been covering SHIB every single day since May of 2021. And uh, that boggles my mind when I, th when I think when I say that out loud. So I want to bring you a price prediction. I spent this morning looking at a lot of different resources for Shiba Inu. And I, I came up with the idea of a 2025 price prediction. So I'm going to give you a number, okay? But I'm also gonna give you my kind of my ideas of where it could be before then. So we're gonna talk about the 25, 2025 Shiba Inu price prediction, give you that number, give you some perspective on what I think that's doable or not, and then give you kind of like a 23, 24 scenario as well, okay? So all right, my, oh, my arm is itching, frustrating, okay. So here we go, okay. So obviously you can tell I'm not at my computer, I'm in my truck, but I wanted to do this video for you. I've been wanting to do this video for you for a day or two and, and every now and then you gotta change it up. Okay, so here's the thing. So I wanna talk about, I looked at about seven different informational resources that were all talking about price predictions and they all had 25, 2025 numbers. Okay, so to give you some perspective, right now Shiba Inu is trading at five zeros and in the nine range. That's where it's at right now. It's been there for a while. It's been consolidating at this range for a while. Not really surprising because the overall market's been flat. It's up about three or 4% right now today because the overall market has moved up a little bit. We got a good CPI data report, et cetera. Okay, so the number, the, 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 the general kind of average number that the price prediction uh, uh, data sets I was looking at for 2025 were four zeros and a five. So four zeros, five, five range, which is a pretty dramatic move up from where we're at now, because we're at five zeros and a nine. Just to give you some perspective, when that five zero go, you know, when it's like five zeros, nine, 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 then we basically roll to four zeros and a one. Okay, so that kind of gives you perspective of where we're at right now. So the overriding data sets we're talking about by 2025 to have four zeros and then five, I think we're gonna get there faster than that. Okay. But here's the, so that's the that's the pros, and but here's the con. It's not gonna happen, I don't think, in the first half of 23, but I think by the end of 23, we could be at four zeros and a five. So I think we could be two years ahead of schedule versus what the 25 predictions are talking about, and here's why. I think, number one, we've got, Shibarium coming. Number two, we've got the metaverse coming by the end of 23, most likely. Um, and then I think that the last part of 2023 is going to be the beginning of a pretty significant bull run for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the overall market. And you factor all in, and I think we can beat, I think we can move up the, I think we can move up and I think we can achieve four zeros and a five by, by, by Q3 or Q4 of 2025. 23, excuse me, 2023, Q3 or Q4 of 2023. It's hard to keep all these numbers straight. Beyond that, 24 number, if we can continue the bull run, I think we could be four zeros, eight, nine. Yeah. And it's entirely possible by 23, excuse me, 25, by 2025, we could be at three zeros and a number. That's possible. Now, here's what's gonna have to happen. Every, we have to have positive catalysts from Shiba Inu themselves. We have to have an overall really good bull run in the market, okay? And we've got to get burns initiated, which burns should start to go into effect when Shibarium launches because we'll get uh, transactional micro burns happening there that could add up significantly. And we've got to add at least a million more holders, okay? We will add holders by default when we get back into a bull run. We've seen it. I've lived it. I've seen it. We pick up a ton of holders. So I think if, I think it's I think the 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 holders is not really the hard part. I think a million plus, million 3, million 5 holders is not that hard when we get when we have a sustained bull run. It's actually the burns that are going to be interesting to see how they play out. If the if Shibarium is going to be as much of an impact from that standpoint, the burns are a big deal. We've got to we got to reduce the supply. Um, but yeah, that's what I think. Drop in the comments below. That's what I got for you. 2025, but you actually got a 2023 and a 2024 Shiba Inu price prediction. 
in addition to 2025 price prediction. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Oh, by the way, private community. I have a Patreon community, links in the description below. Check that out, it's 20 bucks. Gonna tell you straight up, you can join and cancel at any time. Is $20 worth it to you to maybe help your crypto journey? I'm gonna start doing price predictions and stuff like that, content only for my private members. This will be, not, this will, you will not be able to get this content anywhere else. And if you just want more Austin in your life, which who doesn't, right? You can join my uh, Patreon group. You can message me. I have a, I have a, I have a massive Discord community. And uh, you can no longer be alone in your crypto journey. All right. I'll see you. Go make some money.